St. Patrick's Day is the last song on John Mayer's first studio record uh, called Room for Squares, which released in 2001 on Sony Music. This record is known for a lot of the songs that kind of launched him into the sort of teen pop thing that he was doing at the time, like Your Body is a Wonderland and Why Georgia. But it also contains some fan favorites like Neon, No Such Thing, and St. Patrick's Day. Now this record and this song particularly are sentimental to me uh, because this was one of the first experiences I had with jazz chords, like real, like tension building and releasing jazz chords in a kind of pop context. And I mean pop by pop songwriting, which is traditionally sort of a uh, maybe intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus sort of thing, and it kind of repeats. And for me, as a young guitar player, kind of learning and starting to want to be introduced to new sounds that were bigger and more interesting, I thought, than the stuff that I was listening to at the time, uh, this song came along and I was like, whoa. Fun fact about this song, I particularly remember learning two chords from the song that became my favorite chords I think of all time, actually, minus maybe like uh, one of these, these nines, whatever. Um, it is the E major nine and the B flat minor seven flat five. Listen to that. Now in the song, that B flat minor seven, <laughs> flat five, I keep messing it up. It resolves to this A major, which is like, oh cool, I'm home. And then that goes minor. Oh man, I was just like, it drops the floor out from under you. You know what I'm saying? It's just this beautiful, he uses the progression and the melody to become this beautiful, winding, like really leading sort of thing that I think keeps your ear interested, even though it's a almost a five and a half minute song. So just that main progression to me is enough to warrant this song a place in my heart, you know? You know, isn't that, isn't that sick? Come on. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching this companion piece. Make sure you check out the cover itself so you can see what I'm talking about if you haven't already. And I appreciate everything uh, you're doing. Thank you guys for picking songs as well and for voting and polling. Keep picking. I love doing this kind of stuff because I love talking about songs and music, especially with you, my family. Thank you very much. This is Arlamar. Watch that cover. Have a good day.